Okay friends, here is problem number 23 and this problem comes under topic number analogy. So this uh, problem comes under topic number analogy. So we have to read the given direction first and the given direction is complete the given analogy by selecting the correct answer from the given alternative. So we have to complete the analogy by selecting one of the given four options and that will be the right answer for this question. So analogy means they will give two numbers here and the two numbers are related with some relation. So we have to find that relation and the same relation is used or the same analogy is used to get the missing number. So these type of problems are easy but you have to get a right idea at right time. Then only you can get the right uh, answer for such type of examples. The key is right idea at right time. So I will uh, write the given question here. It is uh, one, uh, sorry, 20 colon 120 double colon question mark colon 210. So this is the question. So what is the relationship between 20 and 120? Yes. What is the relationship between 20 and 120? If you find that relation, the same relation can be used to find this missing number. Yes. So in our NMMS video tutorial classes, topic wise video tutorial classes, we explained uh, different types of analogies which are used to ask in the examination. So the analogy behind these two numbers is, yes, 20 can be written as, 20 can be written as, 4 into 5 is equals to 20. 4 into 5 is equal to 20. Now, 4 into 5 into 6, what I will get? Yes, I will get 120. 4 into 5 is 20. 20 into 6 is 120. And I am having here 120. So this is the analogy. They multiplied consecutive numbers. To get the first uh, number that is 20, they multiplied 4 and its consecutive number that is 5. 4 into 5, they got 20. To get 120, they multiplied consecutive numbers from 4, 5, 6. Consecutive numbers 4, 5, 6. 4 into 5 is 20, 20 into 6 is 120. And the same analogy can be used to get that missing number. Yes, I will use first option here. First option, how first option can be written? First option is 30. How can I write that uh, 30? Yes, I can write, I can write, uh, I will write here. I can write it as 5 into 6. 5 into 6 is 30. Now, that is 5 into 6 is 30. Now, 5 into 6 into next consecutive is after 6 I will get 7. 5 into 6 into 7. 5 into 6 is 30. 30 into 7 is? Yes, it is 210. 210. And the number 210 I am having here. So, first option is the right option. First option itself is the right option. So I can take first option is the right option. But we can check second option for our convenience whether it, it, it is correct or not. Yes. So I will take second option. Second option is 36. So I have to write 36 by two numbers which are I have to multiply two numbers which are consecutive numbers. So 36 can be written by two numbers which are consecutive. Can we write? No. 36 can be written as 6 into 6 and 6 is not consecutive to 6 or uh, 6 consecutive number is 7 but if I multiply 6 into 7 what I will get 6 into 7 is 42 I won't get 36 so the second option is wrong now move to the third option third option is having number 40 can we write 40 in terms of uh, uh, multiplication of two numbers which are consecutive numbers 
can be write 40 can be written as uh, 5 into 8 but 5 and 8 are not consecutive numbers if I write 5 into 8 if I write 5 into 8 I will get 40 but 5 and 8 are not consecutive numbers and even I can write uh, 4 into 10 that will be 40 but 4 and 10 are not consecutive numbers so I can't write 40 by using two consecutive numbers so I can't write uh, 40 by using two consecutive numbers so the third option is also rough now moving to the last option moving to the last option last option is having number 42 and 42 can be written by two consecutive numbers yes if I multiply 6 into 7 I will get 42 if I multiply consecutive numbers 6 and 7 I will get 42 now what I have to do 6 into 7 into 8 that should be 210 then that option satisfies so what I will get what is 6 into 7 it is 42 42 into 8 is again split and merge technique 42 can be written as 40 plus 2 into 8 40 into 8 is 320 plus 8 into 2 is 16 so 320 plus 16 it is 336 so I am not getting I am not getting 210 I am getting 336 which is not equal to 210 so because of that I will take fourth option as wrong so the only option that is uh, matching with the analogy is the first option so I take the first option as the right option okay friends such type of problems can be solved by getting the right idea at right time okay now I will move to problem number 24